got it going on here. Dom B. Bernard in his house. I'm here with my dear friend Brandon. Also Hi. DJ Bonix, yeah. reigning champion of 9061 KISS FM. 961. 96.1. And uh, basically what I wanted to ask you is if you feel there's a spiritual impact that hip hop has, not just in America, but around the world. Uh, I mean, I guess it's different for everyone as far as hip hop goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, hip hop is so big now. I mean, it used to just be the outlet for, uh, you know, the silent minority or, uh, or majority, if you want to say it, uh, for them to like be expressive. But uh, yes, and I mean, yes, yes and no. I mean, it's hip hop so big. I mean, you could really say that about anything. It's just spiritual impact uh, in walking. You know what I mean? Some people walk for health. Some people walk for leisure. Some people walk because they have to. As far as hip hop goes, some people listen to hip hop, you know, for leisure. They enjoy it. It entertains them because that's what it is. It's entertaining, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, some people uh, listen to hip hop because you know that's the only thing they do now. You know, they grow up listening to hip hop. Period. That's what I know. You know, I'm from New York. I listen to hip hop. Or uh, some people uh, listen to hip hop because uh, you know that's like what society or pop culture has made us listen to. But as far as spirituality goes, I mean, yeah. Do you think there's been like some guys who have been at the forefront of the movement to build character within people like maybe Tupac or Biggie? Or yeah, I mean, but it sounds different to everybody, you know what I mean? Like uh, someone in 87 hated on Biggie in the you know, 90, early 90s and then, you know, someone now hates on hip hop now because they were in the era of the early 90s hip hop. I mean, you have to look at it as, it's all like, uh, progression, it's progression, it's an era, like kids these right. days, at least around my area, they're growing up to like 3-6 Mafia and stuff, it's completely different from like, uh, yeah, Jesus. it's a whole other, yeah, it's a whole other piece, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's spiritual, I think, at the end of the day, it gives some people hope, yeah. hip-hop gives people hope that, you know, it could be, be like that, but then a little bit too much of it is, uh, bad too because people you know they think that they think they can just do that and, and you know if you look at hip-hop artists like Ludacris and uh, uh, I, I can't have the name on top of the head like these cats are educated you know what I mean these cats went to school or they went to grad school or they dropped out of school but they at least you know attempted to go to school or you know understand that it's a business for some for a lot of them but as far as spirituality goes I mean you can make anything like your temple you know that's right you know, some you know like you have meditation balls, and for them, that takes someone, you know, takes someone to some other place, exactly. My man. Well, I know that was uh, kind of interesting. No doubt about it. They love it regardless, right? Hey. Yay.